Lead reporter Sofia Onuna carried out yesterday. Take a look. Do you know this man? Uh, actually, these men, they are known. They are known. They are people who uh, are brokers, are political brokers. And everybody knows, knows uh, everybody know uh, these people because they hang uh, over City Hall. And I'm a Nairobi politician. So you personally know them? Uh, not personally knowing them, but I know them. All right. So then why do you think it's becoming so difficult to arrest them? The police have even put out a bounty for those who have information on when, how they can be captured. But yet we see them continuing with their business. Uh, actually, it is up now to the police to explain that because uh, uh, that is their job to arrest uh, the, the culprits and uh, take them to court as, uh, as uh, the law uh, states. Yeah. yeah. So you'd say if the police came around City Hall, they'd find them there because they're told they hang around there quite a bit. It was in the media reports yesterday that uh, they hung around City Hall. And uh, even during Kidero's time, they were there. Uh, during the previous, uh, during Kisia's time, they were there. There are people who hung around City Hall. Uh, and basically, they are political brokers. You'll see them in all functions uh, for politicians. So uh, basically, they are people who can be found. So the police refusing to find them are what, part of this? Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, uh, you, you see, the police, they take uh, time to investigate and to actually but get them. But in this case, there's li they're caught live on camera committing yes. the crime. So it's not an allegation. We are seeing their faces. We are hearing what they have to say. Yes. Not much of investigation. They just need to get them, don't they? Yeah. For, for, me, for me, I'm uh, very clear on this. It, uh, and what I'd say is that uh, the police, they should do their work. They should uh, uh, arrest these people and bring them to book. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything else the police wanted to find out from you when they interrogated you earlier? Oh, well, uh, there's nothing that they wanted. They just wanted to know why I, ha I have been mentioned. But uh, since the governor is a very close uh, friend of mine, I think uh, that is the reason. So uh, basically, they just wanted to know if I'm connected in any way, of which I denied. Right. Yes. So have, are you meant to talk to them again after this? Well, the police? Well, I don't know because I explained myself and uh, I was told uh, they, they, they are looking for those people. And I was asked if uh, I have any number for uh, those guys and I told them that I don't have any number. And uh, if they want them, they can go to City Hall. That is where they'll find them. Okay. Uh, yesterday when uh, my colleague Sophia Wanuna spoke to Simon Bogwa and as you've uh, of course uh, heard from uh, what we've told you in the last couple of minutes he has been charged with robbery uh, with violence but uh, Sophia later on spoke with a police spokesperson Charles Zawino who negated Bogwa's account of events confirming that he had been arrested and remains in police custody let's listen into that so earlier today we saw reports from a section of the media that Simon Bugwa, the Yala MP, had been arrested uh, in connection with the four goons that we saw assault, the ex-NCBDA boss. Was he arrested? Because later when I was with him, he inter I interviewed him and he said, yes, he gave a statement. After our interview, he was whisked away. Please give us a status update. Yeah, it's true. He was arrested. And uh, when he was arrested, uh, he requested to be allowed to sit in a place in an hotel. That's in the morning? Yes, mm -hmm. to be allowed to sit in a place in an hotel within our vicinity and uh, our officers were able to monitor him and see what he was doing for the purpose of uh, uh, getting the rest, uh, some of uh, the people who had been uh, accused of the same. And that was done on his request. So let me get this straight to clarify for our viewers. You got him in the morning. Under interrogation, he offered to go to a restaurant and call the individuals that assaulted Mr. Murioki. And wait for them. And wait for them there. He got to that hotel. When I called him, he was at the hotel. I found him there with the Nairobi governor. So these individuals did not show up. And while I was interviewing the Nairobi governor, you then whisked him away. So where is he now? He's with the police. What is the intention? Now that he did not, according to you, fulfill his end of the bargain, what now? The issue is not filling end of bargain. There was no bargain to it. You the, the, the thing is you that... accepted his request to go yes, bring Yes, because them. it was important for us okay. to have all of them. And he said uh, he was with them. He was waiting for them to come. So we only felt it was proper to be decent and allow him to wait for them so that we could have him. So uh, when, they, when they were not coming, and it was getting late, uh, we decided to take him. 
All right, so that was yesterday, and uh, the latest, of course, is that the ally member of parliament, Simon Bugwa, who's a few hours speaking.